Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Blair. We're nurse practitioners with JCPS Health Services. Let's talk about hand washing and how to prevent and reduce the spread of respiratory illnesses. And what to do when you cough and sneeze to keep others from getting sick. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. <laughs> but not with your hands. Use tissues or cough and sneeze into your elbow. Don't forget to throw your tissues away. Avoid touching your mouth, nose, and eyes. And make sure you wash your hands. There are five easy steps to hand washing. Wet your hands with clean running water and apply soap. Lather hands, rubbing them together with soap. And remember, make bubbles. Remember to get the back of your hands between your fingers and even your fingernails. Scrub for at least 20 seconds. You could sing the happy birthday song twice or your ABCs. And rinse your hands well under clean running water and dry your hands well with a clean paper towel. Remember, washing your hands throughout the day is very important. Be sure to do that before and after preparing and eating food. After using the restroom. After blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. After you touch an animal. And don't forget, any time that your hands are visibly dirty or soiled, you need to wash them with soap and water. And when should we use hand sanitizer? It's a great question, Blair. Washing your hands with soap and water is the best way to get rid of germs. However, if soap and water is not available, a 60 to 95% alcohol-based hand sanitizer may be used. Hand sanitizers do not remove all food allergens and are not a safe way to prevent exposure in children with food allergies. Sanitizer should never be used to replace hand washing before meals unless water is not available. And remember, if a student has a fever of 100.5 or greater, they must stay home and be fever-free without the help of a fever-reducing medication for at least 24 hours before they can return to school. For more information, you can contact JCPS Health Services.